Hello friends, welcome to ST Math Tube. So today we are going to discuss about volume of prism, pyramid, cylinder and cones. This is specially made for SCE students. Um, so I know that soon you are going to face uh, SCE exams. If you like our video, please subscribe and share our YouTube channel, ST Math Tube. Okay, so let's get started. Basically, let's start with, uh, because so many students are confused with what's a prism and what's a pyramid. So let's first find out what you mean by a prism. Okay, so in prism, it's basically the three dimensional form of a polygon. So do you know what is a polygon? Let's start with that. Okay, so what's a polygon? Polygon is a closed figure made out of straight lines. So uh, it's a 2D shape. 2D closed figure, two-dimensional closed figure made out of straight lines. So triangle is a polygon, uh, hexagon is a polygon, uh, quadrilateral, rectangle, square. So any such polygon, if you extend it to a length L, is that okay? So any polygon, if you extend it to a length L, we'll, we'll get a prism. Is that okay? So what is a prism? A prism is some uh, any polygon in 2D shape. If it is extended to a high, uh, length L, we will get the corresponding prism. Is that okay? And uh, based on which two-dimensional uh, shape you are extending, uh, the name of the prism will also be that. For example, if you are extending a triangle, then we call it triangular prism. So if it is a rectangle, then it will be a rectangular prism, which is also called as cuboid. Is that okay? So uh, if it is a hexagon, we call it a hexagonal prism. So it depends on which two-dimensional polygon you are going to uh, extend it to a length L, we will get the prism. Is it okay? And what about pyramids then? For pyramids, we will take the same um, two-dimensional polygon, but this time we won't extend it to a length L. Instead, we will take all the vertices of this two-dimensional uh, polygon and then we will join to a, an external point like this. Is that okay? then we will get a pyramid. For example, if you take a square piece, yeah, and then if you want to make a pyramid, what do you do? Take all the vertices of this two-dimensional thing and then join them. Is that okay with a straight line? Then we'll get the pyramid. For triangular pyramid, what do you do? Take an external point, then join all the vertices to that particular point. Then we'll get a triangular pyramid. So it's really difficult to draw three-dimensional uh, things on a two-dimensional paper, but I think you got an idea, right? So uh, what is a prism? Prism is any two-dimensional polygon extended to a length L. Is that okay? So today in this video, we will discuss about the volume or how to find the volume of a prism and the pyramid. And also, uh, before going to the volume thing, no, let's discuss what is a cylinder then. So you can see that cylinder is a circle which is extended to a length L. Is that okay? So uh, you can you can also draw a cylinder <coughs> vertically. I hope you got the idea, right? So uh, in case of cylinder, what you can see is it behaves so much like a prism, right? Because uh, a sh 2D shape is extended to a length L. So that means it behaves so much like a prism, but it is not a prism. A cylinder is not a prism because circle that's being uh, extended. No, circle is not considered as a polygon because polygons, I told you when we discuss what is a polygon, it is a closed figure. Yeah, circle is also a closed figure made out of straight lines, but circle is not made out of straight lines. It's a curve, right? So because of that, it's not a, because circle, the base is not a polygon, we won't consider cylinder as a prism, but cylinder behaves so much like prism. So if you know the formula for prism, we can apply the same formula for cylinder as well. I hope you got the point. So uh, the similarly, we we'll have cones also. You can see that cones have a circular base and it is joined to a to a vertical height. So you can see here that it it behaves so much like a what? Yeah, pyramid, right? It behaves so much like a pyramid, but it's not considered as a pyramid due to the same reason because our base is a circle. Circle is not considered as a polygon because it's not made out of straight lines. I hope you understood this thing. So now uh, we got to know what's a prism, what is a pyramid, what's a cylinder, and uh, what is a cone. I go. I hope you understood, right? Uh, let's move on to the volume, how to find volume of each one. Okay, so uh, 
basically if you have any solid shape what do you mean by volume volume is the space inside that solid shape the whole thing how much it can contain right so it's the space inside that whole shape so we are going to find out for prism let's start with a prism okay so i have a prism here now it's it's a cuboid cuboid is also a prism because it's a rectangular prism right uh, a rectangle is being uh, extended to a length l is that okay so let's take this uh, distance as b and this distance as h is that okay so how to find the volume of a prism it's very simple imagine this uh, two dimensional polygon right this shape is being kept over and over and over and over again and again and again and again, and again no so it, to a length l so that means if you can find out this area of this shape this 2d shape and then multiply it with l l times if you multiply them you will get the volume so what's volume of prism area of that two dimensional base right or the shape um, times what length that will give you the volume of prism i hope it's clear right so we know how to find the area of 2d shapes right for a rectangle it's uh, breadth times height or length times breadth right and then for a square it's length times length for a triangle it's half base times height i think you remember right so you have learned this in smaller from your younger classes right so um that's area of triangle and then area of trapezium very important what is area of trapezium trapezium is a polygon in which only one pair of opposite sides are parallel the other won't be parallel so uh, how to find the area between area of this trapezium for trapezium it's just half times that parallel sides right sum of parallel sides times what's the distance between the vertical distance between those two parallel lines so if trapezium is like uh, let's say if it is like this this is also trapezium why because this opposite sides are parallel but the other two are not so um, how to find it it's half times sum of parallel sides times the height or the distance between that parallel sides did you get it so that's how we find out the area and after finding the area we have to check how for how much the length we have we are extending that 2d shape and when you do that you get the volume of prism i hope you understood this thing clearly right is it clear so that will be for finding the volume of prism let's take some examples right let's go for example so for volume of prism i need your help so please do it with me as well uh, okay so for finding the volume of prism how can we find the volume of prism yeah area of that 2d shape which is being repeated times length so what's area of that 2d shape it's a in this case it's this triangle right so for triangle we know it's half times base times height times length so what's half times base times length four times six and then times length how, for how much distance did yeah times three so what is the answer 12 times three which is 36 i hope it's clear so how to write the unit it should be centimeter cubed how to do this question help me please which shape is this yeah it's a right angle triangle so how to find the area how to find the volume area of that triangle times this length so uh, for finding the area of triangle we have the base and the height half base times height times the length which is five centimeter if i'm going so fast please uh, let me know in the comment uh, so that i can improve myself right so here uh, 13 times 10 will be 130 centimeter cube okay so now let's go for the next question what shape is this can anyone say yeah so it, what type of shape is this it's a trapezium because i can see that two sides are parallel but the other two sides are not parallel and it's a four-sided polygon with two sides only two sides are parallel the other two sides are not parallel then it's a trapezium so for finding volume what we need to do we need to find the area of that trapezium times length how to find the area of trapezium half times yeah parallel sides length is seven and three so seven plus three times what's the distance between this parallel sides oh it's given as 12 then times for how much distance did it are we extending that shape 15 so times 15 um you will get it as 5 times 12 which is 60 let's do it you can use your calculator as well so 5 times 12 times 15 which is 900 centimeter cube i hope it's clear right eh? okay so let's do the last question on prism so here again it's a triangular prism so what we should do yeah find the area of this triangle 
because for volume we need area times length. So for finding the area of triangle, what we should do? Half times 8 times 3, then times 7. Is that okay? So when you do that, you get 12 times 7. What's 12 times 7? 84. So 84 centimeter cubed. After prism, let's move on to cylinder. So as I said before, cylinder behaves so much like prisms, but it's not a prism because the 2D shaped circle is not having uh, it's not a polygon because it's not having straight lines it's a curve right so uh, for cylinder what do we need we need the radius of the circle to find the volume what we need to do we need to find out the area of the circle because circle is the one which is being extended right so area of circle times this length so for finding area of circle i know that i i, I think you already know it's the it's pi times r squared times length is that okay? So where R is the radius of the circle. So you can see that the diameter of the circle is given as 3 centimeters. So that means the radius will be, yeah, half of it. What's half of 3? 1.5. So 1.5 squared times length, which is 11. Is that okay? So the radius was given as 3 and the length was given as 11. So we can use our calculator to do the rest. What we should do? Pi times 1.5 squared times 11 which is 77.75 centimeter cubed i hope it's clear right eh? please do it with me because it's very very simple if you just try it and practice a little bit and it's really easy right now let's go for this one so it's a it's half the cylinder right let's find out the area and uh, volume again this is also not considered as a what prism because the semicircle is not a polygon because it still have a curve it's not made out of fully straight lines yeah okay so but still it behaves so much like a prism again so it's what is it area times length what's area of a semicircle it's half the circle so half pi r squared times length so what's that half times pi what's the radius radius oh yeah diameter is given 12 so radius will be half of it which is 6 6 squared times 8 so when you do that i'm getting 452.39 centimeter cubed yeah so now let's move on to this one what shape is this yeah it's a cylinder because it has it's it has a circle being uh, extended to a length l so for cylinder what we should do find the area of base which is the circle times for how much distance it's being so uh, it's been repeated. So how can we do it? The radius is directly given its 10. So pi times 10 squared times the depth is given as 2. So 2. Always check whether the units are same because they might give you a different unit. You have to change it to the same unit once you do this formula. So what we have to do? 100 times 2. So 200 pi, which is 628.32 centimeter cubed. I hope it's clear, right? This is the volume. This is how we can find out the volume of cylinder. So for now, let's move on to pyramids. So when you take pyramids, I think it's much easier to visualize cone than pyramid. So I'll uh, explain it with first for cone and then I will teach you the pyramid one. See, when you take a cylinder and instead of cylinder, I'm going to make it into a cone. Can you see this yellow is a cone with the same radius as the cylinder? But you can see that it's taking only one third the volume of the whole cylinder. First part, second part, third part. Can you see? So when you consider the volume of cylinder, volume of cone, what is it? It's one third the volume of cylinder. Is that okay? I think you are able to understand this, right? That's why they are giving the ice creams and all in cones because it takes lesser volume. So less ice cream is only needed. So it's kind of like a business tactic, right? Okay, anyway, let's, let's come back to our question now. So here, volume of pyramids. So how to find volume of pyramid? It's the same thing as we did in cone, no? Volume of pyramid will be one third the volume of prism with the same base. So uh, we have to assume that prism is having the same base as the pyramid and we can find if it was a prism, how much was it? And then take one third of it, you will get the volume of pyramid. So let's, let's start. Here, what is the base? For finding volume of prism, it's, it was area times length, right? So one third, what was the area? This this is the base, right? So 40 times 20, it's a rectangle. 
then it's extended to a length of 35. So when you do that, you'll get 9,333.33 centimeters cubed. Is it okay? So uh, this is how we can find the volume of pyramid. Let's do this one. So here it's a pyramid. Uh, what kind of pyramid? Pentagonal pyramid. So it has a pentagon base and they have already given the area of pentagon face. So what we should do? Yeah, to find the volume, it's one third area of base times length because one third the volume of prism. So one third, what's the area given us? 33 centimeter squared times the vertical height which is being extended right so that's given as six so we can see that it's one uh, 11 times six which is 66 centimeter cube okay now last question for more finding volume of cone what we should do we already discussed cone will be one third the volume of cylinder so what we should do one third what's volume of cylinder area times area of base which is it's a circle, so pi r squared times the vertical height. So how to find the vertical? Uh, it's Everything is given already. So times pi times r will be 3.7 squared times 4.5. So let's input that in our calculator. So pi times 3.7 squared times 4.5 divided by 3. We'll get it as 64.51 centimeter cube. So so friends, if you got all these quest answers right, then please comment below that you got it right and give a thumbs up and also like our video and share and subscribe to our channel. So we'll meet again. Bye.